What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel, Holy Hair. In this video, this is going to be the part three to my successful stylist series. And I'm going to be talking about how you can regain and refill your energy as a hairstylist. Now, if you guys don't know already, I'm Laura Ashley and I have a salon studio called Holy Hair. Here on my channel, I talk about ways to improve your career as a hairstylist and I give you business tips, hair tips, tutorials, and much more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the rest of this video. Let's go, let's me, let's hit, let's go. So this is really important, you guys. We get really burnt out as hairstylists. We get mentally and physically drained. Like this career is very draining or can be very draining um, if you don't take care of yourself. So the ways that we get drained mentally and physically are, you know, we're talking all day long to our clients where a lot of clients come in and they have it be a whole therapy session, which is perfectly fine. I actually love like giving people advice and helping people through their problems. That's like part of the reason why I love my job, but it can get draining if we unknowingly take on other people's junk. So people come in, they sit down, they dump all their, you know, problems on us and then we're sitting there on a Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon worried about Susie and her divorce that she's going through. And this can also be a physically draining job because we're standing on our feet all day long, you know, we're holding our arms up, cutting hair and shampooing and, you know, doing all the things. So, um, you know, standing on our feet can be very tiring for hours on end. And, you know, repetitive motions like cutting hair and spray bottles and, you know, massaging people's scalps on your hands and on your arms, on your shoulders. This can all be like super physically draining on our bodies after a while. So I've been doing hair now for about 10 years and I have learned some ways that have helped me to get over this hump of being like mentally and physically drained. And I wanna share those things with you guys today. These are things that personally work for me. Um, obviously everyone is different, but I truly do think that these are things that are going to help you on your hair journey and in your daily life. Even if you're not a hairstylist, honestly, like these are really good tips just to know in general. You know, we kind of have to recharge our batteries in order to give our best selves to our clients and friends and family. So um, we don't wanna get burnt out as stylists and it's super important to know how to refill that energy. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is scheduling breaks during your day. I know this is so hard as a hairstylist, like, I rarely schedule a break for myself. And if I do schedule a break for myself, I end up running behind or talking a lot and just like working through my break. But I will say this is super important to keep up on because I notice that when I don't schedule breaks for myself that I feel a little chaotic during my day. Nobody wants their hairstylist to be a spaz. So this is something that you want to, you know, just take out 30 minutes to an hour if you can out of your day and have a break for yourself, like run and grab some lunch, you know, or just clean the salon, maybe dust the shelves. I find cleaning very therapeutic, just like organizing stuff and cleaning. And it just like kind of resets your mind and like gives you a mental break from constantly talking, constantly having people 
in the salon and all of that stuff. Don't overbook yourself. You know, I mean, I love to double book. It's a great way to get more people in and out of the door, but try not to overbook yourself every single day. So it's fine to double book, you know, a couple days a week, but don't double book yourself, you know, every single day you work all day long because that is just too much. Um, as hairstylists, I think that we're really like motivated people and just like work, work, work. And I totally feel like that's just like part of our breed of people. Like hairstylists are a breed of people. I truly, truly believe that we are a special kind of people. It takes a special kind of person to be a hairstylist because you have to be so many things in one. Even if you just have maybe like two or three 15 minute breaks instead of one hour break, that's great. Like just take some time for yourself in between, you know, every couple of clients and do some deep breaths. Take some like cleansing deep breaths just to like let out, you know, any tension that you may be holding. This is really good mentally and physically to do. I mean, like go to the bathroom and like take your pee, like go pee, you guys. Like literally, I know it's hard, like we hold our pee all day, like, but go pee. Take some deep breaths while you're in the bathroom. Like just take a moment for yourself and relax. Everything is fine, you know, like, Janet's hair is gonna come out great. Everybody's gonna be fine. So take some deep breaths in between clients. Don't just jump on your phone and like scroll through Instagram as soon as you get a five minute break. Like take that time to kind of like clear your mental and relax. There is actually a energy clearing mist that I have um, that I spray in the salon. Let me grab it really quickly because I wanted to show you guys this mist. It's really nice. Hold on. So this is the mist. It's called an Aura Smudge, and I will link this in the description down below. And it's just a cute little spray bottle. It's glass. Have you ever heard about like saging, you know, like burning sage and like saging your space just to like clear out energy? That's kind of what this mist does. It's a smokeless sage, because it's a mist. So you probably don't wanna like burn sage in your salon unless it's like a day off where no clients are coming in. So I keep one in my house and I keep one at the salon. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. Believe it or not, I truly feel like this helps to like clear the energy in the room. Cause if you think about like all the energies you have coming in and out of your space, like say somebody was like super negative or they were just like a stressful client, like I just feel like that energy lingers in the area. I sometimes use this as a little body mist just to like give me a fresh energy for the day. And I really like this spray. I will link it in the description below. Try it out. Let me know if you try it or if you've tried something like this in the comments. Okay, on to my next point here. I wanna talk about self-care. I know this whole video is kind of about self-care, but I wanna specifically talk about like some specific self-care things that you can do as a hairstylist to help you be your best self for your clients. Before and or after your days at work, take some time to like stretch. We're standing on our feet all day long like like I said, tension gets built up. Um, if you do yoga, that's like perfect. Yoga is so great for hairstylists. I mean, I have been doing yoga for years and I swear by it, I love yoga. Yoga is really helpful because you're stretching at the same time that you're breathing. So you're releasing energy that's stuck in certain places. So if you feel really tight in an area, you know, there's a lot of energy there. There could be emotion there. Um, and when you stretch that out and take deep breaths, that's how you're releasing that stuck energy from your body. Yoga with Adrian. 
I will link her page in the description. She does free yoga classes right here on YouTube. She has all levels of yoga classes on her channel. Truly, truly recommend her. Yoga and meditation are great. So if you don't wanna do the stretching, you can just do the breathing. She does have um, meditation on her channel as well. I also love to play Hertz Frequency music. If you have not heard of Hertz Frequency, um, there are different frequencies of music. This is the type of music that does actually help repair things and helps you like create a positive atmosphere. It's music that you've probably heard in a spa setting. I will link down in the description a couple Hertz Frequency videos that you guys can check out. All of the Hertz Frequencies have different ways of repairing your body. I actually have a like cheat sheet that shows shows you all of the different Hertz frequencies and what they do specifically for your body. Here is all of the Hertz frequencies. So there's anywhere from 10 Hertz to 10,000 Hertz. And for example, like a really popular one that I listen to is 417 Hertz, which removes negative energy from the body, home, and office. This is great to play in your house or you know just listen to like 20 minutes a day while you're like maybe getting ready in the morning it's the way that the tones of the music react with the cells in our body it just helps to cleanse and remove any negative energy so check it out don't knock it till you try it listen to about like 20 minutes a day i usually play it in my house like all day when I'm not even home. I just go on YouTube. They have like videos that are like 10 hours long. So I just play it on my TV. The next self care item that I want to talk about is a massage. Go get a massage. Schedule a massage. Schedule some acupuncture, whichever one floats your boat. I love both. Um, I kind of alternate, so I'll like get acupuncture for a couple of months and then I'll switch to massage for a couple months. I usually do um, acupuncture or massage every six weeks. You could do every four if you'd like. Invest in yourself, like just put it in your budget. And it is a write-off, you guys. Like massage and acupuncture, these are tax write-offs because we have to take care of our body. 100% we cannot do our jobs without having our physical body be taken care of. If you don't like massage or acupuncture, I would say maybe try to see a chiropractor, get some adjustments, just something that works for you to help you keep your body functioning at its highest level. So my last point that I wanna talk about is pray. Praying is a big part of my life, um, so I couldn't do this video without putting praying in here. If you're not a Christian or you are you don't believe in God, you can ignore this part if you want, but I challenge you to, um, you know, try it. Maybe, um, you know, don't think of it as a uh, religious thing. Maybe think of it as a meditation or, you know, a way to just reset your mind. So there's many ways that I talk about in this video that helps to cleanse yourself, but praying kind of just like seals all of that in. Praying gets rid of excess energy that we do not need. So there's a couple prayers that I want to share with you guys that um, I say, uh, at the end of my day, people dump stuff on us. If we do not cleanse this junk from our bodies and from our minds and our spirit, we end up taking on other people's junk. And when I say take on, I just mean like it holds a place in our bodies. I hold, um, well, a lot of people hold uh, energies in our spleen. So if you're having like 
anxiety and you have a lot of stomach pain, it could be honestly that you're holding on to other people's emotions. I know that sounds crazy, but emotions take physical form in our bodies. You can still be empathetic and sympathetic and, you know, kind and talk people through, people through their problems, but you don't have to take on their problems physically. One way to prevent this also is um, grab your Aura smudge spray and mist yourself with it and think of it as a energy shield to shield um, your energy and protect your body from other people's energies. So I have two prayers that I want to share with you guys and I will type these out in the description below so you can like copy and paste them in your notes or just um, keep them in your phone, take a screenshot. You can say these prayers to yourself quietly when you're at work or you can say them when you get home from work at the end of your day. So the first prayer that I am that I'm going to share with you is, Dear God, I ask you to sever and cauterize any way that others might be attached to me, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and electrically in an unhealthy way. I ask you, God, that you would restore anything that has been taken from me. In Jesus' name, amen. And then the second prayer that I have is, Father God, I ask that you would keep any and all energy that is not from you from transferring to me. I ask that all energy that is not part of your original design for my body be cleansed from me and that the healing power of Jesus would wash through every cell in my body. I ask that the blood of Jesus cover me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes and that only your original design for my body be fulfilled. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I am going to end this video on that note. I really hope you guys took away some helpful tips to help you refill and regain your energy as a hairstylist so that you can be your best self to serve others. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like. Share this video with a friend or fellow stylist if you think that they can benefit from any of these tips. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Let's go, let's meet, let's hit, let's